hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Hardcore World. Sorry it's been a little bit. There is good reason why I have been gone, and it's because I've been working on something big. We survived over a thousand days on this world, and I spent most of that time building up this village, where each house has a reason to go into it, whether it be a farm or something else, and it also has a full interior. This is all in the hopes that I won't hate the build in like six months or so. But because we have survived a thousand days, and also this is episode number 10, I thought we'd do something a little special. This project is a little confusing, so bear with me as I try to explain it. But welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. So this project isn't going to make much sense unless I do a little bit of explaining. So I've prepared a little video uh, to, to help that. <clears throat> I think in order to create a cool world, and this isn't just limited to Minecraft, I think it's important to have a, a history that the audience can find out just exploring the world, I guess. And so that's what I want to accomplish in Minecraft. So imagine, and um, bear with me, cause this is gonna get a little cringe. After exploring the different valleys and mountains and rivers for years, you come across this old ancient fountain. Who knows who built it, you know? Well, there's some sort of quality about it that makes you think this isn't something ordinary. So by throwing an offering into the fountain, something happens. The water from the base disappears and on one of the two pedestals and on one of the two pedestals, an item appears. Noticing it's only on one of the pedestals, you get the idea to match that item on the other one. And almost like magic, both of the items disappear. And out of the middle of the fountain comes a reward. Now, who knows how long ago this fountain is built and for what purpose. But it's freaking cool! It's a cool idea! It adds so much lore. And so, today, that's what we're gonna be building. We're gonna be building that fountain. And it sounds easy, but it was not easy at all. So you might be wondering, uh, we, what are you doing in the nether? Um, so this project, this the redstone for this build is really tall. And so I have to put some of it underground. And to dig underground, I need to get a beacon. So we're gonna go get wither skeletons to kill the wither and then get a beacon. Now. I'm pretty sure the fortress is this way. Where is it? I was like, oh, it's gonna be right here. All right, I've given up on the first one, but I think I know where another one is. And there it is. Hello. I'm not gonna lie, this fortress was hot garbage, so I went to the next one I could find. And that one also sucked. Okay. I found one wither skeleton in like 20 minutes, so I decided to find another one. Hopefully this one is over lava to help the spawners. Oh, I know where I'm at. Um. Ah! Oh, there's one right there, I think. Rib. This one's gonna drop one. Oh! <gasps> oh! Get him out! There's a second one! What? I'm probably the best Minecraft player. I know that, like, it's not, like, unheard of for that to happen, but that's never happened to me. And we go back. Whoa! 
way, guys. <laughs> hey, surely one of you. Oh! And with those three skulls, our adventure in the nether was over. Finally, after a two hour nether trip, let's get out of here. Back like I never left. Now that we've got our three wither skulls, I need to get a, a bow, cause I've been putting that off for a while. I need to get a good bow, and then I need to go fight the wither which is very exciting, but also very terrifying. Hi, Panko. This can either take a really short amount of time or a really long. Oh, oh hold on, that is interesting. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Infinity, power four, infinity, and that's everything. Oh, there goes my levels, but that is a just about perfect bow. Um, let me know if you have any good names for my tools, I guess. Because I want to have cool, like, the demon man be gone sword. Or the the bow of good uh, fortune. So, after running up some potions, strength. Strength two, baby. 22 seconds? We were good to fight the wither. So killing the wither in and of itself isn't hard, really, and I'm definitely not under equipped to do that, but um, when the main point of your world is to not die, anything that has a risk of dying can be a little bit scary. So although I had maxed out armor, a maxed out bow, maxed out sword and potions, I was still, I was still a little nervous, you know? Everything I've built could be washed down the drain if I suck, so no pressure. After me, he's on me, he's on me, he's on me. Oh, I've got the wither. I've got the wither. He's still on me. All right, it's melee mode. Okay, trigger gap. There we go. <sighs> that was really easy, actually. <gasps> There's one. I defeated the wither, and it was easier than I thought it was going to be. After that pretty easy wither fight, I needed to go out and get some sponge to help drain the ocean. Um, you see, the redstone for our project stretches from Y level something really high to Y level something really low, and so I have to bury it underground and it's in the middle of the ocean, so I have to get sponge. And before all you redstone professionals go, hey, wait, this sucks. Just know that I know that it sucks, and also it sucks for a reason. It's stretched out really tall for a reason, but you'll figure that out as the story unfolds. And so I went out to go get some sponge, and it became a lot more of a process than I thought it was gonna be, so. I always miss like a couple It was also of around this time where I got in a call of friends and you could definitely tell we were getting a little delirious. I feel like personalized touch for you is the best because you're more of like a comfy, as cringe as that is to say. Does that make sense? 
Do I remind you of a fuzzy little bit? I grabbed too much milk. <laughs> I feel like... There's no sponge in here, dude. That's not very sponge-tastic. Oh, there's another sea temple. <laughs> Do you remember it now? Yeah. I think I'll get this video out ever. <gasps> I got a tied armature? So I think I have to go to another one. I think for this one... Oh! Then oh. I'm just gonna... Dude, you got the sponge room! You got the sponge room! I found it. I've got 41 wet sponge. You think we're ever gonna reach the age 41? No. Oh, I looked at my phone. Do you guys have like Apple News notifications? Apple yeah, News? What the? I, the I don't. I don't use it. But, but today it was like, here's why male life expectancy in America is like way shorter than ever. <laughs> like ah, uh, uh oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough spun for me. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Wrong way. Like, I think. Yard, blow me hearties, yo ho. They never said blow me hearty. <laughs> yes, they Shut did. Up. Yes, they did. <laughs> they did. They did. That's pirate speak. Ahoy me hearties, not blow me hearties. <laughs> yeah, what the? It... Ahoy me <laughs> Dude, that was sus. Oh my gosh, that was so sussy bussy in my tummy wummy. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel good anymore. With the sponge collected and a bunch of sand collected, yes. we could finally get started on this project. Nope. The first yep. thing I did was place a conduit down so I could breathe underwater. And the next step was to get rid of all the coral that was in the way. Okay. That's all of the coral gone. I guess coral reefs are a lot denser than I thought because I got a lot of coral stuff. But the next step was to build a sand wall all around this little perimeter I made. And I had to make multiple trips back out into the wilderness to get more sand. Okay, there is a whole wall. And now inside of this perimeter, I had to make sand walls in order to help the sponge work a little bit better so I could drain it easier. Now, using sponge is a little bit of a pain, but eventually I got the hang of it. Hold on, just wait. These first few sponge clearing sections are a bit of a pain to watch because I was not very good. And then after that, all you gotta do is collect the sponge again, dry it in the nether, and then make another wall and do it all over again. That weirdly took me like two or three hours. That was annoying. But now, we gotta go craft a beacon, baby. So, for a beacon, we need glass. Which I don't have. Thank you. They call me obsidian. <gasps> okay, now with that three obsidian, 
I've got everything to craft a beacon, which is pretty crazy. Oh, the glass goes like so. The nether star. And then the obsidian. Boom. Um, the next step in getting the beacon is getting all the, all the, all the base blocks for the pyramid, which can usually be quite a pain. But not to worry, I'm three steps ahead of the game. Two episodes ago, um, we made this trading hall. It's basically a printer for emeralds, like, look at this. Let me show you a, a, let's just do two stacks of potatoes. Yeah, so we go over here to the potato guys. Boom. In 20 seconds, we've got another two stacks of emeralds. You get the point. Okay, um, putting those away. There <laughs> should definitely be enough emeralds with a little bit more to spare. Eh, 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 eh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I love the green. Green's such a nice color. This is a very big moment in the hardcore world because this will this will change everything, I think. Boom. That's awesome. And then if we stick an emerald and select haste two. Pull up the pickaxe. Gone. Just deleted. Now with that beacon set up, I've got to dig a giant hole to fit a redstone something. And you'll see. It's cool. I promise. It's awesome. So, I got to work. I dug a hole all the way from Y60 to Y1, and it took forever. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go too in-depth into it. This easily took me the better part of a weekend to do. It got really bad when I got to Deep Slate level. Digging up Deep Slate is absolutely atrocious because it doesn't work with the Haste Beacon. So, that sucked. And during that time, I definitely got a lot more resources than I thought I would. I had to expand the chest setup like 16 times. It was crazy. I guess this is probably a good as time as any to talk about why I'm making this project. Um, I'm really bad at redstone, and so it gave me an excuse to kind of learn redstone. I'm still really not good, but I feel like I understand it a little bit better. But also, I knew that I'd have to probably dig this hole, and oh my goodness, I got a lot of resources, and my my supplies were pretty drained after the last couple of builds, so. And there's something nice about like once every couple of months or a couple times a year, just digging a big hole in Minecraft. It's weird to explain, but it's just you can kind of turn your brain off, turn something on on the side, and it's pretty nice. Okay, with these last couple blocks and about a uh, hundred Minecraft days later, uh, it's done. <sighs> it took me like one and a half weeks of on and off work and I'm so excited to be done digging a hole. It gets surprisingly slow, like the, the process once you get to deep slate because beacons don't work on it for some stupid reason. Alright, I guess I probably should get all these chests out of the way before I do anything else. So these are all, like, completely full of stone and stuff. And so I got to work. I decided to store all the stone underneath my base just in a big chest system and begin moving it over, which took a long time. I would also spend the next 30 minutes just sorting out all the other resources. And that is everything finally sorted. 
Wait, how long have I been recording? That took me two hours? Are you kidding me? So, two hours of sorting later, um, this is all the stuff I got. Feel free to pause if you need. And also, all the stone is over underneath my base still. But this, this is really important. This is all the coal ore that we'll be needing for the build. I really hope it'll be enough. Um... Oh, here's the valuables chest if anybody cares. Um, a lot of good stuff. But yeah. So the issue now is I now need to get all the resources to build all the redstone and then to build the thing that's going to go around all the redstone. So I'm nowhere near done. But digging this hole definitely gave me a head start though on a lot of resources, namely the coal ore. Um, I think I had enough in there. I don't really remember. But now it was time to start filling up all these chests with the final resources I was going to need. Is stuff just despawning? <laughs> um. Stacks of cobblestone wall. I was just thinking, I need nine stacks of repeaters. It's three stacks of redstone per one stack of repeaters with all the torches and everything. So my math is correct. I'm gonna need 27 stacks of redstone for just the repeaters. I needed a lot of minerals for this project. So the plan was to go caving and that is what I did. And I did that for many hours. Oh my! Creeper spawner! Is that right? Yeah, 18 stacks of torches! Ah! Three, four. <laughs> this is so stupid, this looks like a cheat. Is this even right? I'm really stupid, so I don't even know if this is right. But I just gotta go. <laughs> this looks this looks weird. This looks weird. <laughs> Give me some redstone, please. <sighs> ah, nine stacks of repeaters. Yeesh. Ah. <coughs> ah. <coughs> oh. Trying to kill me while I'm sneezing. Wise, but not good enough. Now, I wish we could say that we were getting close or that we were done gathering resources, but we weren't even close. I had to go cave in again, of course, and that went about as well as the first trip. I'm so sick of caving. I was underground mining for like five hours, and you can definitely tell I got a lot of resources. Oh 
Whoa. That's quite the... That's quite the resources, eh? I'm just a collector of goods. Oh my goodness. I have a fair amount of coin here. And so I go like this. Go like this. Oh my... Now that I probably had enough iron and redstone to last me a week, I could get back to crafting stuff for this project. For the last time, hopefully. Why is there so much green? <laughs> After spending like five Minecraft days in the swamp just getting slime balls, I could craft all my pistons and then craft them into sticky pistons. And that was everything except for some wool. So let's collect that real quick. Now, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I have not uploaded in for a while. Um, yeah. <laughs> Life's been tough, man. But also, this is a, a larger project, so that took a while. But for the most part, it's just life getting in the way. Um, Minecraft recording and editing can be kind of a pain sometimes. So I've been, I've been trying to find some motivation to play, and I've, I've recently found it, I guess. But hopefully I can upload more often. Um, but who knows? I'm just going to try to do this as much as possible. And I appreciate everybody who's sticking with me, waiting for the next Wheat Minecraft Hardcore video. But with that, let's finally freaking build this project. So looking through the links of all the replay files I have, this redstone project took me over 12 hours and it doesn't seem like it. I'm not gonna explain in the video how it all works because we're already almost at 30 minutes long and also nobody really cares, but I think I'm gonna Maybe if people want, which, by the way, this redstone is the most basic redstone ever. But if somebody if somebody wants to know how it works, then um, maybe on like a second channel video I can explain it. Speaking of second channel, I don't have a name for that. Um, in the YouTube sphere, people usually have like a little little pun or little play on from their first channel name uh, to make a second channel. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know. I'm thinking like carrot. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. And like, days later, we're done with most of the redstone? Well, not really. Not really at all. Ugh! What I mean by that is like, all the redstone is placed down, but there's like 6 billion filters that need to be all done, and I don't wanna do it. So I think the next thing I gotta do is set up all the item filters, which will take like, like an hour maybe. And uh, that did not take an hour, that took two and a half hours, I which like it's ridiculous. Yeah, Basically, I just needed to find a bunch of random items 
and filter them for this floor. Mystical fountain. It's got like 64 different items it could ask you to grab. And so these filters basically just make sure that the item you're giving it is the correct item. Um, okay. In theory, this should all be functioning. I don't think I want to test it out until I've got the mountain all built up. And so, it's time again to... Oh my goodness, I'm so tired of this project. And I'm hoping I can get it out by the end of the year. So it's time to build a, a freaking mountain in one episode. I don't think it's even like a mountain, it's more just like a big rock structure. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> After probably another 15 hours of building, we finally finished this, and oh my goodness, I think it looks so freaking good. I mean, just like, just look at it. But there was one last thing I needed to do, or a couple last things. First, I had to take down all the scaffolding. I needed to cover the grass with long grass and also lichen to help light things up. And now we're ready to give it a test okay. run. Okay. Whoa, cool fountain. Let's see if it works. Okay, I've been standing around for like three minutes and nothing's happened, so I think there's something wrong. Yeah, um, I have a bunch of problems with the redstone, so it took a little bit to get it all fixed up. Had to crawl through all the wires and hopefully not fall down to my death. Um, but eventually, I got it working. Now it'll work, right? Alright. Hopefully, it works now. For now, I was just gonna cheese the system so I didn't have to go out and get the item, so. It freaking works! I spent so long on this. After probably 100 hours and two terabytes of footage, we were finally done with this project. Once again, sorry about the wait. Life, life is tough sometimes, you know? Um, but I appreciate you watching. And there is a couple things I need to fix with this, um, but we'll worry about that next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode of Minecraft Hardcore. <laughs>